Halo Infinite gameplay has finally dawned on us today. It's been about two years since the initial reveal trailer and five years since Halo 5 release, but we finally have an actual look at this game. At first, I wanted to do a face reaction video for this trailer, but unfortunately I was at work by the time it dropped. So now I think it's better if I do just kind of my own breakdown and give you my own thoughts and opinions on it just in its most raw form before I listen to too many other people's opinions and comments on it because I want to be completely honest with what I actually thought about this trailer. And as one of the newer Halo fans, I feel especially lucky to be able to share my opinion on the matter. So if you like what I have to say or you just enjoy the content, please feel free to support my channel. So I, I actually really love this new AR. It looks like a mix between Reaches and Halo 3's. Just, you know, the popped out ammo counter and the fact that it looks a little bit round. Uh, the numbers don't look so digitized. I know that's a, a weird thing to comment on, but I like it. That special effect for healing, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I kind of think it blocks the screen a little bit much, but it's cool nonetheless. Uh, here's this, one of the looks at the Banished Phantoms which a lot of people say looks just like the actual Mega Bloks uh, construct. I think it looks alright. Uh, this Warthog looks way too much like the Halo 4 Warthog, in my opinion, and it doesn't sound enough like a Warthog, but it, it clearly, you know, it looks like it plays like a Warthog, and that's what matters most. Now, I kind of winced when uh, I saw this top-down view of the map, because I don't think we've ever really had a map. This, this feels like some Halo Wars 2 type stuff, but I'm, I'm welcome to the change. I mean, the fact that this is open world is amazing to me. I, I think that's a great idea. Uh, taking inspiration from Combat Evolved is no mistake in any way, shape, or form. Unless uh, Rocket Launcher Flood, of course. But everything looks pretty gorgeous. I see some of the grass loads a little bit late, but this is a demo. I love that new pistol. And that Elite looks like he's straight out of Halo 2, as he should. And now this new gun, I love it. It's, it's, it's a little bit of a slower automatic rifle, but it's so cool. There's that effect again. Still not sure I like it. Then these boys drop pot in here like the, uh, the Red Legion from Destiny. <laughs> but they still act like brutes. Look at that guy running. I love that so much. And then, I don't know what he picked up there. I think he just uh, drop wall acquired. That's what he got. Okay. Because I was wondering the first time I watched that if that uh, was the grappling hook that he picked up. But I think that's just... There's the grappling hook there. Um, I, that, that's just part of his armor now. And I'm fine with that as long as it doesn't have a long range. Which I don't think it does. I, I, as much as it'd be cool to see Chief Tarzanian his way through this game, I, I don't think people want that for the story. But... Oh man, I love that music. I, I love the atmosphere so much. Everything looks really good. Uh, I have heard a lot of complaints that there's not enough textures, and that's totally true. However, if you look at the actual gameplay trailer versus the demo, you'll see that the gameplay trailer actually does have more textures. I think I saw a side-by-side -side on Reddit of the shotgun pistol. Basically hinting that this is a different build than... Uh, the actual gameplay trailer it might be a little bit ahead but that's fine like i said this ravager it looks a little op but i'm okay with it as long as it has limited ammo this could be on easy mode for all we know i love this pulse carbine uh i think three for three has been trying really hard for a long time to make good covenant weapons i never really liked their new covenant weapons but this one it looks promising to me and he just absolutely tears through all those grunts rip here's that shotgun pistol i was just talking about and there he Tarzans. Both the character and structure designs look pretty good for Halo, even though a lot of it's based off of uh, classic stuff. <laughs> yeah, he grapple hooks the fusion coil and just yeets it at them. That's a beautiful addition. This part, this part also had me a little bit worried because there's so much colors going on here. Uh, it's a, it's a little bit of a rainbow vomit. Which, you know, hopefully looks better in the final product. But as of right now, I'm not, I'm not too happy about that. 
This is the new shotgun. I think there was a Mega Bloks construct of it that got leaked. But it looks like it shreds, relatively. Not it's Halo CE level, but still good. I love that grappling hook now. Just the fact that you can punch an elite after doing that is amazing. I don't know if they released the uh, new villain's name yet, but I like the way he looks a lot. I think his style works very well. Not sure if he's Banished or Harbinger, because I think he mentions the Harbingers and the ban Banished working together, whoever, whoever the Harbingers are. But this guy looks good. Um, he's probably going to die in this game, let's face it. It, it. it seems a little bit predictable, but uh, that's okay. Just because a story is predictable doesn't mean it's going to be bad. This is probably the first entry in a tri trilogy where we uh, eventually kill Atriox. They've got some holes to fill between Halo 5 and here, but... I don't think anybody loved Halo 5 so much to the point that they need the best explanation ever to get to Halo Infinite. I think most fans would be just fine even if they never said anything about Halo 5 again. They do, however, need to mention uh, how we lost this war against the Banished on the ring. Because you gotta show, not tell. You know, I, I have to sympathize a little bit more with humanity. I gotta see them in trouble, in peril. I can't just see this one pilot. Although he is a pretty good emotional attachment. And this this villain doesn't seem too stereotypical to me. Maybe his design is. But I like the idea that the war is over to him, but he just wants to play around and have fun with Chief. I can't really think of too many villains off the top of my head that are in that kind of mindset. So many of them are just kind of like, oh, I'll destroy this world. This guy's just kind of gloating. He's like, I've already won, bro. And I think that's kind of cool. Maybe his speech is uh, a little stereotypical too, but it's it's good. I like it. I don't hate him right now. He needs to make me hate him more. I kind of like him. He's here for a good time, not a long time. All right, well, that's the end of the gameplay trailer, but uh, I'll keep talking. I'll, I'll link the actual trailer without my commentary uh, in the description. Ultimately, I, it was a pretty good trailer. I will say, when, when I first came away from it, I was actually just minorly disappointed because I think everybody is just influenced by nostalgia because nostalgia makes everything old seem so much better than it actually was at the time. Uh, I'll, I'll take this over Halo 4 and 5. It looks it looks innovative to me, and that's, that's really good. You know, game companies should never be afraid to try something new. Now, even Halo 4 and Halo 5, for all their mistakes, they, they did try something new, and they're, they, they've learned from their mistakes, and I think we're going to see a lot of uh, what they've learned here in Halo Infinite. I consider myself to be a man of many analogies, so I'll, I'll use a very relevant one. Just the other day, I was going to go get some ice cream, and I asked my girlfriend what flavor I should get, and she told me mint chocolate, and I was just kind of like, mint chocolate, because... I've, I've never loved mint or mint chocolate. Whenever I think of mint, I just think of gum or floss because there's mint-flavored gum and mint-flavored floss. But I got two scoops. I got one scoop of mint and I got one scoop of, like, sweet, salty caramel because I've had something like that before and I knew I'd like it. So even if the mint disappointed me, then I'd at least have the sweet, salty caramel. caramel. However, I found myself kind of being agitated by the sweet, salty caramel and kind of relieved when I bit into the mint chocolate chip. It was the solution to my stinging, salty problem. And maybe that's what Halo Infinite is a little bit. It's not what I expected from when I first saw this trailer, but after, you know, really digging into it, I realized that this is kind of refreshing. Maybe this is what I really wanted all along, and I, I just didn't know it. And the fact that I, you know, if I'd never tried something new, I never would have been able to appreciate it. So, yeah, I, I say give Halo Infinite a chance, man. So, for anybody who feels just a little bit disappointed, just know Halo Infinite could be your mint chocolate, in a way. But, um, I think that's about all I really have to say about this. But my, my reception, after thinking about it, is generally pretty positive. This, this looks like a new game. This looks like a step forward. This doesn't look like a return to the comfortable normalcy it looks like it's something that pays homage to once we, what we once loved and that's what a new game should do it should build upon what was already there 
and talk about how we love it, but also strive to be something different, something new. So thank you so much for uh, watching my video. If you liked it, prove it. Give it a little like and maybe guy scribe. I say guy scribe because my name is my guy Max. I think that's pretty clever. Uh, if you don't, then well, I'm sorry for you. But anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this breakdown. If you want more vids like this, please comment down the comment section below. Have a nice day.